we go. Just, just we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> you just duck. <laughs> <laughs> awesome sauce. Oh, we are so excited to have you guys here. We 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 got Panda's video all done, and we're working on now Gretchen's. Yeah, uh, talk. 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 The uh, we actually today had a chance to go film, uh, and so we actually filmed uh, Panda's video, and we filmed Tuck's video. We have not <laughs> made them yet. There's still some editing magic and stuff to do. Yeah, baby. Uh, but we have gotten the filming part down, uh, and so and then. Today we just spoke with, uh, as you can see, a, a rescue about the next two dogs we're going to film. Oh, excellent. We're so excited. Well, good. And uh, Panda is just as big and mushy as he looks in his pictures. He, he looks is just huge. the sweetest boy. He's just a giant meatball. Yeah. Is that, that nubbin, every time any person <laughs> came by, just started wagging. Aww. The whole butt move. And oh, yeah, we're glad he's like way far away or else he'd end up in our bed because <laughs> we all fell in love with Panda. Yeah. Yeah. He's a, he's a very sweet boy. And Tuck too. Um, Tuck is just a, a really shy boy. He's exactly both of them. Panda and Tuck are both really prime examples of why Pup House is important and what Pup House brings to the table um, because Tuck is just nervous around new people. Um, but within 20 minutes, half hour, I was getting kisses. He was taking treats out of my hand. He was snuggling up and playing uh, tug with his toys. Um, but if you were to walk into an adoption event or into a shelter situation, he doesn't have that opportunity, that time to decompress, that time to uh, get to know you so he doesn't show as well. So someone m wouldn't be able to see really who they're going to get in their home and why Tuck is such a wonderful wonderful pup so yeah especially if they do like a, a pet store thing where there's you know bunches of people in there and new sounds and yeah. smells and yeah yep. and it's 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 completely unfair to the dogs really like yeah. you know you put him in a new environment with new dogs new smells and put him in a, a crate for four hours <laughs> and expect them to be their comfortable self like right. they would be on your couch it's <laughs> yeah. just you know and I, and I understand it's it's just the sheer challenge of it all you yeah. can't do everything perfect for every dog so that's kind of why uh what we want to do with pup pals is what we we say uh the highly adoptable but overlooked those dogs that the rescues like this dog should have a home why is this so one still here yeah why is this dog still here that's the kind of dog we want to specialize in because we want to help the rescue as we like to say speed up those slower lanes of traffic so they can get back to saving as many dogs as possible because rescues do such an amazing job around this country mm -hmm. and just even with little tweaks here and there they can get that many more dogs adopted which just means that many more dogs can be pulled and saved from difficult situations exactly now do you have any like statistics as far as like well like how quickly after Numbers? you make videos yeah. For sure. And we have some really great success stories, too, that are like that we can can point to. Um, all of those numbers are available on our website. You can go to wearethepuppals.org or just puppals.org. Both will get you straight to us. Um, but on an average, we saved double the time for rescues. Oh, so, wow. Um, and that's taking into account dogs that... At, really take a long time we're in, in an area that like for example if we have a you know 75 85 pound pit bull in an area that has lots and lots of pit bulls it's harder to find them homes even when they're really great animals just because of the saturation in the area yeah. um but for a prime example we we filmed with a rescue called wags and walks in los angeles a couple of years ago and um, they had a wonderful sweet little girl dog named dakota uh, you can actually still see her video that's the other thing about pup house is once the video up we know everything on the internet lasts forever right it never goes away <laughs> it's there permanently um, uh, unfortunately so when, for some things <laughs> right right um so when we first put a, a video up it will say adopt our pup pal dakota and once dakota we, finds we, her we, forever we, home no oh hold on a second to, yep we just got a donation in hold on we got to do things <laughs> Yes, do things. Yes, <laughs> Trixie's mama coming in. Another five for the adorable puppers. And Yay, we gotta we gotta treat the all. tribbles real quick too. Yes, treat those tribbles. Yeah. Did have you seen our tribbles? Oh yes. yes. <laughs> all right, let me switch over to the tribbles and I gotta put oh Trixie's mom has already got a heart, right? Yep, you already got a heart. Okay. Oh, they're already in here staring at me. 
<laughs> well, get over there. Get over there. <coughs> wants to see you too, okay? <coughs> Ted, you're out. Yeah, you're out. They're like, it's never taken so long for us to eat dinner. Because <laughs> I held back half their dinner. So I wasn't oh, going to give them oh, sure. actual treats all this whole night. They're usually limited to six a night. Where am I going? Where am I going? Pick a screen, Special Mima. event for the triples, too. <laughs> okay. All right, you were telling the story? Uh, so <laughs> once once they get adopted, uh, their title changes back to just our pup file, Dakota. And it will say in the title, like, Dakota has found her forever home. For more animals in your I area, click on the link. So it will always redirect back to those rescues and continue pushing the traffic back to the rescues in your area of the animal that you're seeing. So that way you can keep sharing. Even if a dog's been adopted, it helps to share those videos out just so people know that we exist, can check out animals that are still in need in their area. And, you know, then it just kind of keeps that that uh you know keeps greasing the wheel in in dakota's case uh she'd been a rescue for i think it was 240 days don't oh, quote me exactly it's something somewhere, somewhere. Yeah. but 240 days uh her already returned was, twice yeah, as well her challenge oh. was she was just super timid she was super shy and you could tell we were actually with her for usually we try yes. and film for about an hour mm -hmm. hour and a half we were with her for over two hours and still samantha was never within probably five feet of her yeah so unlike usually when we like have samantha right next to the dog or me right next to the dog when we're filming there was like a legitimate like gap between uh dakota and sam um and we said look look this is after a couple of hours this is how close we've gotten but then we got to show footage of dakota yeah. with her foster parents mm -hmm. and they were she was super sweet and super loving and wonderful because she trusted them and yeah. she knew them and that's what kind of the special thing we were able to show is that this is what is the dog you're going to have once you're willing to take the time to let her open yeah, up get to know her. it's on her it's it's on her time not on ours right. you know dogs need to feel comfortable for themselves yeah. uh and from that she got adopted was it was it two, two days? days two <laughs> days after the video went up oh wow she got adopted yeah um and has had her forever home another uh, really great example is treasure she was one of our first pup pals and she was in rescue for over nine months she was just a baby she was under Aww. a year old um and she was a little pocket pity mix 40 pounds just sweet as can be perfect little girl but she was an almost all black dog and a pity mix and black dogs are harder to get black animals in general don't get adopted at the same rates as other animals and pity mixes are hard um and we made her video and her dads found her within two weeks of her video going up so we took 10 months down to uh two two days I think our video froze. Hold on a second. We can see you, but we can't hear you. <laughs> I don't know why. Adrian, thank you for the 13 months. And Mama Bear coming in with another $10 donation. Make it an even number. <laughs> okay. Um, it could just be a Discord thing. Hmm. Yeah, try reconnecting. Can you hear us now, Mima? I can. Okay, All right. great. Good. We're back. <laughs> All right, I'll get that camera back on for you. Hey. Hey, hey. you gotta <laughs> love live streaming. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> We've got a question from Emerald who wanted to know, are you guys nationwide? We sure are. We are. Uh, unfortunately, at this moment, we are the entire uh, group. So <laughs> it is nationwide to where we are. Uh, we have filmed in over, I think, 10 cities in eight different states. Oh, wow. Uh, California yeah. to New York to Atlanta to the Midwest. Yeah. Um, so we've done this in many locations, mm -hmm. uh, and now kind of every time we visit somewhere new, we kind of call around to rescues and do what we can. Yeah. Um, with the 
ability to, you know, fund more adventures. We like to do more things. But the goal is uh, actually for us to be able to have teams like two or three person teams like us in other major cities across the country. So it's not just based on our travel plans, but it's <laughs> on local teams that are in every city in the country, uh, allowing us to do it much more regularly, which oh, is always that'd be great. the goal for it. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So uh, we actually have uh, Florida, um, the Orlando, Tampa area is on the short list where COVID kind of put a wrench in the works for yeah, a lot of- <laughs> kind of put a wrench <laughs> a in everything. <laughs> Slow, yeah, slow it did happen. slow down. Yes, life is. Um, but uh, the Orlando, Tampa area is on our list. Um, uh, Atlanta, Atlanta Kansas we City, did Kansas City, Los Angeles. Uh huh. Those yeah. are all areas. Well, those are places have... we've been already. In. No, but those are places where we have right teams interested. But the the next expansion is um, Orlando, Tampa area, um, North Carolina, South Carolina, where we have folks there. We've had some requests come in from the Boston area and um, in uh, the Burlington, Vermont area. So as people reach out to us and say, hey, um, we could really use what you're doing. That's where we focus our direction next. So if any of your folks out there that are watching have rescues that they support or that they work with, um, we do this for free for all rescues. Um, Pup Pals is not a rescue. Uh, we already know that there are people around this country that do that well. And, and the goal is never to take that away. But what we can do is with our special skill set, we can help those rescues become more efficient. We can focus on the animal they knew they needed to save, get that animal into their forever home so that they can save four, five, six, seven more in that place. It's more efficient funding wise to the rescue so that the money that they're bringing in from adoption fees can be used on more animals and spread out more. Yeah. The faster we get the animals into their forever homes, the more we can save. So and that's, that's what I that's loved about this. Goal. When I, when I read what you guys did, I was like, oh, this is different. I love it. <laughs> yeah, oh, a yeah. uh, question. They want to know, are, would you ever expand out into cats as well as dogs? We've already done cats. We, we, oh! We, we, we tested that theory uh, with the rescue in Chicago. Yep, the Anti-Cruelty um, Society, which is the, I believe, the oldest and the second largest no-kill shelter in the country still. Mm -hmm. uh, they're in downtown Chicago, and they actually did reach out and called us and said, we, we need your help. We have a foster program, but these animals aren't getting seen, and we really need people to see yeah. who these animals yeah. are because unlike dogs you don't walk the cat around the neighborhood to meet uh, the yeah. neighbors right so you kind of have to get I mean, away you do, to, but not always yeah. <laughs> you kind of have to get away to get people inside the house and the videos were and it did help the videos yeah. were a good way for that to happen um we have since not expanded much on that um but we that was a good test ground for us to try it I happen to personally be allergic to cats, so <laughs> Me too. I have limited. I have limited time before I um, maybe have to like step out, and I happen to be the filmographer right. for everything. We so, need stock in Benadryl yeah. before yeah. we go filming. Um, but we are actively very interested in continuing that process because, yes, just like dogs, cats also have this need, um, and we want to be able to help that. And it doesn't certainly it doesn't hurt anyone to help another animal in rescues get adopted faster we actually had a little surprise uh <clears throat> a surprise pal as well so we've had we do pup pals that's our normal thing we had our pet pals which included um oreo was one of our kitty pals mm -hmm. uh and about two years ago we did our first piggy pal a piggy pal <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> A large oh, pot belly awesome. pig that was being fostered. Actually, by the same, we saw uh, you showed the Frozone video. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Frozone's foster was also fostering a pig at the time. Mm -hmm. So we did oh, the, awesome. our very first Piggy Pals video. And and she got adopted. She did. She did. <laughs> now, um, yes. uh, folks want to know how you can, can, they can connect a shelter or rescue with you guys. Do they contact you through the, the website? Uh, yep, you can contact through the website. Uh, you can reach us on any social media platform. We are at We Are The Pup Pals. And we actually chose that because it's not just us. We are all pup pals, right? We are the pup pals. We are so all go, the pup pals. That's right. <laughs> um, so you can reach us anywhere in social media. You can also just email us at wearethepuppals at gmail.com. And you'll reach one of us. Um, but any rescues or no-kill shelters, the only thing that we require when working with a new rescue is that any animal that we film 
must be safe until adoption. That's the only requirement we say, because we don't at any time want somebody to see one of our videos and in their, their mind hear that sad Sarah McLaughlin music oh, yeah. and think, oh my gosh, I need to adopt this animal or it's going to be put down. No, hard pass. Every video you see of a pup pal is a safe pup pal until they find their forever home. Oh, that's and that's the, that's the whole point. Yep. Now, I had a question. How do these... <laughs> Are these videos only on YouTube or do the shelters take them and distribute them as well? So when I finish making the video, um, we put it on YouTube just to have our first thing for it. And then we will also, we upload it also to Facebook. We put it on Instagram or on TikTok, whatever medium we can kind of throw it out there. We also then make sure that the rescue itself has it on the link or the video themselves on the dog's uh, website for Oh, pet like finder pet finder or adopt a pet right exactly oh, so perfect, that way if perfect. you went to pet finder one of the pictures would be the video queued up and ready to go right oh um, perfect again our I, I would love to believe that our personal <laughs> feed of social media <laughs> has so many people involved that everyone adopts just based on our youtube yeah. but we know that's not true uh, that's i found your true. youtube <laughs> you, you did, did. <laughs> but we, we obviously know the more people that get a chance to see this um the better everything is. Mm -hmm. uh, so we try to share it as much as possible and uh, to make sure that everyone has a chance to share it further. Because like I said, the, the goal is for the dog to get adopted and the dog gets adopted when the right family gets to see the video and see who this amazing dog, this dog or these dogs are. And Papa Bill wants to know, do you have the rescue? See if the local news can show it. Oh, have seen a few times where the local news shows animals up for adoption. Oh, and you'd have already so, pre-made video for them. Right. And, and we have done, when we usually get to a city for the first time, uh, for instance, when we were in Sacramento for the first time, uh, we went on the local news that, that um, weekend, brought one of the animals that we had filmed, talked about the rescue we were working with and, and what, what we were doing there. Uh, same thing with Cincinnati. Um, the one hiccup with a lot of rescues on TV no tends to be they want to show you the cute little puppy. And what we've learned is that puppies, that, that cute little, you know, four month old golden retriever puppy doesn't need our help. Somebody's <laughs> already looking for that. So what we want to do is highlight for instance, I actually just foster failed, which sounds oh, bad, but yeah, uh, see, that's what we would rescue, do. It's we a good can thing. never do it. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. Um, I, I mean, it was, I was, I think, 35 or 40 fosters in at the time. Something like that. Um, finally, foster failed with our, with my new little girl, Mindy. She is a four year old Australian Shepherd flat coated retriever. Ow! Turns out from DNA, Great Pyrenees Border Collie Chow Chow mix. <laughs> um, but she was, in a shelter in the middle of Tennessee. And if you didn't know her, if you didn't get a chance to meet her, hi, 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 hi. you would never know. Oh, I, I'm hearing oh. a holler. Papa Bill's coming in. <laughs> All right. I had to come in. I had to interrupt you because everybody has now hit the third goal of $750. We did it. We did it. Emerald came in with $150. Which means... You. Another doggy video and oh, yes. chocolate chirp cookies. Oh, no. Uh -oh. Oh, no. <laughs> I have to drink a cup of durian coffee and now I have to eat cricket cookies. Uh -huh. The cricket yeah. cookies I have to bake. So I will bake them tomorrow and I will eat them on Wednesday. <laughs> Do you have to find the crickets yourself? So no, no, no. It's a package. <laughs> okay. It's a oh, package. It's okay. already pre-made. And Emerald, I made your heart. I will put it up on the board after. Oh, look who's sitting here looking at me. All right. Well, let me let me treat the puppers. Because she's looking at me. That, yes, I know. <laughs> okay. Let me put Emerald on the board first. Can you wait a second, ladies? Emerald in right here. All right, and then go back over here. I hear you. I hear you. Get over there. Get on the bed. Wait. 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 Come 
Good girls. That's not good girls. Don't think every stream is going to be like this, ladies. <laughs> because this most certainly is not. Okay. Um, um, oh, I had so many questions for you guys. Chad had good questions, <laughs> though. Um, uh, so what got you into this uh, to begin with? What, what sparked Pup well, uh, so I've been working in and around animal welfare and rescue for uh, going on about 20 years now. Um, and both Justin and I started as actors, and he is also a filmmaker. And so uh, I approached him and I said, hey, I think that there is a way to use um, video and that medium that we both work in to help save a lot more lives. Uh, because everybody knows that a picture is better than just a bio mm -hmm. and a video is better than a picture, but you don't really get to see uh, anything about an animal or their personality. If you're just, you know, it, it's great to have video of somebody going, Oh, this is a dog chasing a ball in the backyard. And look, they like to play fetch, but that doesn't tell me anything about the animal, right? It doesn't yeah. tell me what that animal is going to be like in my home. And so it's really just about finding, it's kind of like mutt match, right? <laughs> so like, it's about finding Catch the quirks that can. work for you because we live in a small apartment in New York City. So we couldn't have a dog who is a loud barker or we lose our apartment. <laughs> um, but I can handle a whole lot of other quirks. So if I know what this pup's quirk is and I can figure out if it works well with my lifestyle and my my space then i can go okay that one's the right pup for me which is also kind of why when we share videos out we say if this is the right pup pal for you click on the links to apply today if not give it a share because someone in your social media network yeah. is probably looking for that pup and if it's not the right one for you it's the right one for somebody else they just need to get it on their radar yeah. chat yeah. says so it's like a dating video for a pupper but more honest. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, no catfishing. Uh, <laughs> no catfishing here. Oh, unless it's a cat video. <laughs> That's exactly. Yeah. She, uh, Samantha, when she first approached me, she had a foster at the time named Woody. Um, and so I came over and just kind of filmed a bunch of stuff. I didn't know really what I was doing and just was like, let me just film for a while and I'll try and cut some funny stuff together or whatever. And I did. And we put the video up and the, uh, the rescue we were working with at the time, put it on their website. And the dog got adopted in like 90 seconds. Not that fast, <laughs> it was but like it was very quickly. like two days. Yeah. And then that weekend when we met the family, they were like, we're here because of the video. Is this a business? Do you do this full time? We'll invest <laughs> Oh my God, <laughs> like, that's oh, wonderful. I, I, <laughs> right. I guess we should try and see if this works again. Okay. And then we just kind of kept testing it and testing it until we kind of found a, a, a formula, so to speak, of how to be able to, in a reasonable amount of time and, and resources, kind of film a dog and then create a interesting enough video for people to really understand what kind of dog we were talking about. And it, that's where the rating system comes in too, because we wanted people to be able to have some consistency. So we always talk about housing, social skills, and sharing. And we always rate them on that five paw system that you'll see on the side like of the that. video like from that. red to green. So like if, you know, if you're, you know, what if you're, my family never used crates growing up. That was just never a thing. So if the dog is really great at sharing and really snuggly and really lovely um, and is fine being left outside of a crate, but really just doesn't like a crate, that might be a deal breaker for somebody who needs to have a crated space for their pup. It wouldn't be for my family. So my family can go, oh, well, I see that that dog works perfectly for what we're looking for. I should go meet that animal. Mm -hmm. um, so that's that's really where that rating system has served served us, I think, and the animals very, very well. And Papa Bill would like to know, will they be getting any post-adoption of our doggos? And can we see? Like, we'll know when our doggos get yep. adopted, right? Yes. So you guys specifically, Mima, for you and your followers, we're going to be doing follow ups for each of these uh, pups that we're filming. So we will let the community know um, yes. all the folks that are donating will get pup dates 
on when Pop their teats. pups that they have donated towards <laughs> um, when they've got adopted. And um, we're, we're trying to get a couple of follow up pictures and video of where they are in their new family. Oh, that would be so. awesome. <laughs> Yeah. When we get happy tales, we try to we try to update when we can. Um, but you know, people get so excited to welcome their fur family members. Sometimes it's months down the line. They're like, "Oh, I should tell you, this one's just living their life now." <laughs> and we do. We get really great pup dates. We had a, a a woman actually. We filmed with a wonderful rescue in New Jersey called Eleventh Hour Rescue. Um, they're in Rockaway, New Jersey, and they they really strive to be that 11th hour option when there are animals that are in need they swoop in at the last minute and just save everybody they can um whether they know where the resources are coming from or not (laughs) um and so we've done a couple of days like full days where we'll film i mean one of those days i think we did 12 or 13 dogs something wow it was was in the summer when we had more daylight that's a lot um, of editing right there yeah Uh, (laughs) yes that, that is that is true. That um, is true. It's a little bit a little bit of time commitment when you were because the, the filming is fun. Like yeah. I enjoy the filming, and you know you get tired holding the camera up for a while and that kind of stuff. Yeah. But it's the next day when you have all the footage that you go, okay, <laughs> sifting through. What did we just do? Uh, yeah, <laughs> but um, we had we had been with them for um, for a couple of days in a row, uh, and then all of those dogs got adopted, uh, which was wonderful. We were so excited to hear all of that, and then we went back about a year later to do another whole round with them. Um, and one of the fosters of a very sweet little pibble named Eva Rome. Um, she was super cute, a little land hippo, um, and just perfectly adoptable. She will, she will land the, hippo. The, 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 yeah, yeah. The, the, we'll call the low hanging fruit, a yes. perfect example of yes. highly adoptable but overlooked. Yep. She was a perfect dog. Yep. She got along with all dogs, she got along with all people, she got along yep. with cats, she got along with gerbil, anything. Medium she energy, like totally doesn't need a lot of anything. And fun and happy and yeah. perfect. And she'd been in the rescue for over six months. Yeah, and it was no inquiries because there was no reason. On right. a side note, we're here in New York. If you can hear the sirens, sirens. Oh. Sirens. <laughs> um, uh, but there was no reason for her to still be in the rescue. And in that case, there's no reason for Eleventh Hour to be using its resources on a dog that should totally be in a home. Right. Mm-hmm. So she was a perfect example of who the dog should be. What kind of dog should be making yeah. a pop bow video with? So we arrived to film for her, and the Fosters come up to us and go oh my gosh you're the pup pals now oh, you're Justin famous. and i are like yeah that's, <laughs> you're famous. I, yeah that's, we're the pup pals <laughs> like that's who you're meeting today to film and they go no you don't understand we found our fur baby because <gasps> of your first set no of videos way. they Ow. had adopted one of our first pup pals peaches mm-hmm. who was had dog reactivity and all kinds of other stuff but was a really sweet girl they fell in love with her with the video they adopted her they started fostering with 11th hour and when they got eva rome and found out that we were going to be coming to film pup house they were like we need we need the pup house for eva rome you're killing so we me filmed you're killing me video. we gotta break know, out right? the tissues <laughs> i know so oh it's even better we do eva rome's video within a week now again she's been in rescue for six months no applications a week her video is up a woman reaches out and goes that is my soulmate she applies she sent she adopts her they send a follow-up that we didn't even know happened um the fosters ended up tagging us on the social media response and she had said back to the rescue i have now moved to florida with my baby she was my soul dog that I never knew I needed. That video changed my life. It oh, showed me where my baby oh, was just waiting me. for me. And we've been together ever since. It, oh. it, she was like a devotee. And it's it's those stories that we get that when we hear them, we're like, we we know. We know that's what we can help facilitate. Um, and it's just one person at a time. <laughs> you honestly, know? honestly, not obviously not every story is as easy as right. six months adopted. yeah that was like pup pal exception right yeah. but but if but if we are able to film five dogs eight dogs ten dogs and get that one perfect scenario where the rescue gets a, a dog that's been there for four five six seven ten months and they can get out of there in a couple of weeks and we can save them all that time that they might and resources be and finances yeah. that that foster now, I mean, Peach's family can now foster a dog. And if they were used to fostering a dog every two months, you're talking about three or four fosters that they could have over the next six months 
in that same time frame, they just had the one. Yeah. So that's where like, although it's not, it's not every time that perfect. I mean, for goodness sakes, nothing's <laughs> that perfect every time. Yeah. But even if that happens one out of 10 times, that is totally worth it for the amount of time and resources that we can put in for this. It, like, it's just, it makes us feel good if any other yeah. case. Uh, just be able to do that for them. well, and and perspective wise too. Um, we I think in our I think you already showed um, our little like intro video that kind of breaks down yep, what yep, we do yep. and all of that. Um, and in there it talks about Treasure Madison, who is um, one of our first pup pals. She was the one that was there for going on 10, 10 or eleven months in rescue, um, and her video went up. She was adopted within two weeks, and her dad's. I mean, I wanted them to adopt me you know beautiful home in new york you know like her she we went to do a follow-up with her to go and see where she was where she was and how she was doing and you know we knock on the door and we hear just like uh we hear like and we're like what is that open the door here's treasure as if she was like welcome to my home (laughs) just the cutest i mean just she was home she's exactly where she was supposed to be Mm -hmm. and her dads would have never seen her or come across her without that video but the first the fosters who had her were used to taking a dog off of transport from um the high kill areas every other week they had treasure for 10 months. Wow. As soon as we can get treasure into her forever home, every other week, they're saving another dog. Yeah. So now that treasure's found her forever home, that's 10 months times two a month of animals being saved by that foster family alone. And uh, it just, it, it's, it makes such a huge impact. Jeepster said, asked, uh, have you ever had a family or individual reach out to rehome their dog for whatever reason that they can't keep yeah, them? Yeah, that, that does happen. We, uh, which then goes to our, our one of the first things we tell that group. We are not a rescue, so we are not going to <laughs> rehome the dog. Okay. But we will recommend a rescue in your area if yeah. we know of one, and we will say contact them because, again, we're not trying to become a rescue or pretend we are a rescue. There are amazing rescues all across they the country. They do that very well work. already. And we don't want to take their job. Right. We want to help them in their job. Right. So uh, we would, you know, if, if that happened to be in an area, which has happened, we'll be like, oh, we're, you know, in New York or mm-hmm. Florida or Cincinnati or wherever they are. We'll be like, oh, we've worked with X, Y, and Z rescue. We recommend reaching out to them. This is their email right. or this is their website. Uh, and you can talk to them about a way for this to happen. Who their contact is. Yeah. We oftentimes will say something to the effect of, hey, we are not a rescue. Here's our partner rescue. And let them know the pup pal sent you and that we're, we're happy to help them highlight that animal. Yeah. So that the rescue knows that they have a resource waiting for them if they can take on this owner surrender. Um, because one of the dangers, and we actually run into kind of like, PSA things about rescue a lot, um, things like the topic of, you know, heartworm or spaying and neutering or different things that are can kind of become hot button issues, but that we want to make sure folks have resources for because nine times out of 10, it's just um, understanding information and educating, you know, mm-hmm. things that people didn't know. When I was a child, you, there was no, like, we didn't talk about rescues, you know, no. You, you went to the puppy was, store or you went to a breeder, you know, like that was normal. Um, and then thank you, Bob Barker and Spain to your pets at the end of prices, <laughs> prices, right. All the time. Um, you know, it, it became part of the national consciousness. And, and so as we know more and as we learn more and can do better, um, it's incumbent upon us to share that information with folks. So like, Folks that maybe have a reason why they need to uh, do an owner surrender or rehome their animal for whatever reason that may be. Um, our first go is always what resources can we extend to you or get you connected with to help you keep your animal in the home, right? Because there are a lot of places that have, for instance, seniors who maybe need help with vet bills. Mm-hmm. There are resources in a lot of cities that will help you with that so that your companion animal can stay with you. Mm-hmm. So let's start there first, right? Like, let's help you find resources that can be helpful to you. If it's a situation that can't be helped and the dog or a cat needs to be rehomed, then let's work with a rescue. Because what those rescues do and why they're an important step or no-kill shelter 
is that they're going to make sure that the animal is healthy, which is going to protect the animal and the future adopter, make sure the adopter is getting a healthy animal. And it's also going to make sure that that animal is going into a safe space. Mm -hmm. Um, Almost all rescues, in fact, all the rescues we work with for sure, but most rescues, reputable rescues, have policies where if they adopt an animal out, they will be in some way responsible for that animal forever. Louis Legacy, who has um, Gretchen, which is the one that you were showing earlier. Oh, speaking um, of, it's, is Yogi our, our fourth dog? It our, is, and Yogi me, is also from Louis Legacy. Let me, let me pop the picture up here yeah. real quick. All right. There, oh my goodness, it's, it's so cute. I can't stand it. <laughs> Can I make them bigger? Here, I'm going to open them up. Oh, look at the eyes. See, that to me looks like a Great Dane. Yeah, I would be surprised if there isn't a little bit of Dane in there someplace. <laughs> but um, he actually... <sighs> looks quite a bit like the so Catahoula pretty. leopard dog that um, I had when I was younger. Those little cow speckles. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so we, Gretchen is getting her video. She sure is. What In one day. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're working on what, what's his name again? Um, Yogi. Yogi. Oh, the eyes, the eyes. There's even speckles on his nose. Oh my goodness. Star Girl, how you doing, hon? <laughs> Cutest critter. How's it going? Oh. Too cute. And, and, I was over on your Instagram today. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. And look yep, at yep. this. A behind the scenes. On Panda's video shoot. That's right. You'll get to see a little bit. That's yep. that's big old Panda. <laughs> Man, he is so big. He is so big. <laughs> He's such a mush, too. I mean, right right away, which is like, sure, why don't I give you a big lick kiss right oh, yeah. across your face? <laughs> I wanted to lick my entire face up just the whole time. Just, just lick, 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 lick. Pretty yeah, sure. I'll, I'll lick that mask right off your face. His just everything <laughs> just licked straight off. It was, uh, it was, it was wonderful. And then just like, uh. yeah, his foster mom brought a towel with her, and I was very <laughs> thankful because right before we started shooting the video, I was like, "Hi, Panda," and he just like eyes got big. He came over and just went lick. Oh, <laughs> I was like, oh. oh, thanks for sharing, buddy. <laughs> I mean, adorable in the sweetest thing ever. Like. Mm-hmm. Oh, time. for educational purposes, mm-hmm. Love asks, where is Yogi located? Yogi is in the New Jersey, New York area. Strictly for educational purposes. For educational purposes, <laughs> yes. yes. Of, course. of course. You know, ask him for a friend. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's right. And where is uh, Yogi located? Yogi, Yogi is. Yes. Yogi and uh, oh. all all four of the ones we've um, done so far are in the oh, New York, New Jersey yeah. area, or will do, yeah. So, okay. um, it's Tuck, as, Panda, as Yogi, and in Gretchen. In the New York, New Jersey area, uh, just for, as it is, more than likely, all five dogs at this point will be in the New York, New Jersey area. Um, if we end up traveling this next month, we might do dogs next month in another area, yeah. um, depending on what where we are. Again, it's Currently, it's locationally based to the two of us. <laughs> this pesky Omicron. As soon as that temper is down, we can start to getting around there again. But um, And yeah, please do. I know some folks are asking how to reach out with um, no-kill shelters and, and foster-based rescues. And, and please do. Like we, we love making new connections. We usually also, part of what we do with our mission is when we work with a rescue for the first time, we usually make a short intro video for that rescue as well. And then they will have their own playlist. So on our YouTube channel, and I believe also on the Facebook page, you can actually go to your area and be like, oh, adoptable pups in Ohio. Oh, and it well, will there have, you go. You know, it'll be divided by Ohio, but it will also be divided by like 
Louie's Legacy Ohio and all the dogs currently available there and a little short clip about the rescue, what makes them different, what they specialize in, what their mission is, so that you get to know the different rescues as well. And part of the beauty, like we talked about with the beauty of the internet where it stays forever, once Panda gets adopted, hopefully everyone will be sharing out these videos and it's all over the place. And two years from now, someone will see Panda's video and go, oh my gosh, that big bush. <laughs> I need him. And they'll click on the link and they'll go, wait, he's adopted. I wonder who else is in my area. And uh, now you're right back to that rescue again, looking at currently adoptable animals in your area and finding the next panda and hopefully not waiting however long <laughs> before that next dog gets ad adopted because the eyes are being redirected right to that rescue right away. Are Yogi and Gretchen at the 11th hour rescue? No, they are Louis's legacy. Uh, so they, uh, Louis Legacy is a uh, foster-based rescue. They do not have a brick-and-mortar um, location. And they are located in the New York, New Jersey area and oh, also we, in the Cincinnati Tri-State no area. I will put links, the links that I have uh, for the dogs in, in the Discord. So if you, if you guys need them for a friend. And for a friend. <laughs> Sazzle coming in with the forty dollar donation. Oh my goodness! Hey. Thank you. <laughs> Thank oh you. <laughs> and obviously, everyone who's interested in the dogs, please be interested. But you know what? Let's wait a few days. Yeah, let's uh, get you some good videos for them. Cool video for you to watch. <laughs> you really get to know the dog person. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, you take the, pull the car from under us if you adopt the dog before you make That's the right. video. That's right. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Well, honestly, and you know what, that has happened. Yeah. Uh, we have gone to rescues sometimes and made a video and the dog gets adopted like so quickly that the video doesn't get out there for someone to use. We get it and, up on their, their bio and somebody sees the video and goes, oh my gosh, I love that dog. And we're like, we haven't even shared it on social media yeah. yet. Like, we've, we've, we've the video it, works too well. We even had it, uh, it was, I remember in, in, in Kansas City, yeah. there was a, a dog that we filmed uh, and they were like, oh, this is the dog. This is how they are. And when we hung out with the dog, some of the stuff they said was accurate, but a lot of the things that they were worried about weren't the case. Yeah. The dog was much more comfortable with us. The yeah. dog was much more like open to us than they expected her to be. And so I think they went, oh, this dog's more adoptable than I thought. <laughs> yeah. So then the next day when I'm editing a video, they're like, oh, Evie's been adopted. And we're like, oh, okay. okay. Well, I guess we're <laughs> not going to... We're not going to put that one out because <laughs> yeah. problem solved. Now, Good for Evie. <laughs> I, I, I do but... say, I think it's because we were there yeah. sh showing how cool she was that they were able to do it. Yeah. But, uh, you know, every once in a while that does, you know, uh, sometimes they uh, happens to be that the right person came along even before the video happens. And I, if only the problem was the work I did didn't get rewarded correctly because the dog was already adopted. <laughs> right, right. Time. If only that was the only problem, then yeah. uh, that'd be fine with me. A little wasted <laughs> video uh, editing time. Yeah. Not a problem. I'm completely okay with that being the waste of time. Right, right. And Wolf Suman chat says, you guys are heroes, and you are. Oh, oh thanks. Oh, thank <laughs> I love it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, I don't want to keep you all night. Um no, it's okay. This has been, this has been lovely. We're, yeah, we're, we're just we're, happy we're to be to, here with you and, this, and your this folks. Has been great. Does anybody <laughs> else have any questions? Yeah, Did this we... is a, ask us anything. Let's see. <laughs> AMA, 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 baby. <laughs> um, oh, you've got a Twitch channel now, right? Yeah. Well, uh, we do. There's, there's, there's not much to do on the Twitch channel at the moment. Um, uh, but yes, we do have a Twitch channel. It exists. Um, it ex it We're working on it. Uh, we'll I'm just saying, you yeah, know. On said Twitch channel. You know what it honestly would be? It would be Samantha playing Animal Crossing. It's true. Uh, that would That's, be our um... Twitch channel. Because uh, we, we definitely uh, got into that uh, in the beginning of the pandemic. Oh, uh, I mean, I, I dove deep on, on Animal Crossing. <laughs> from uh from the world yeah uh, this, the yeah. switch was my was my best buddy uh animal crossing um zelda i yeah. i was a zelda girl from the very beginning back in the og nintendo console oh they froze up again actually my whole all the zelda's froze. all the way up all right um, better and uh oh uh oh okay. you're good you're good <laughs> um yeah we are, uh, I was an OG Zelda girl, um, and then I expanded a little bit into uh, PlayStation and Xbox with um, Bioshock series and Kingdom Hearts. Um, 
I don't know how Bioshock really is the one that's kind of the outlier because Kingdom Hearts makes total sense. It's basically like Zelda and Disney. I mean, how do you go wrong with that? Yeah, you and know? then you went all um, the, then you went way over <laughs> to with Bioshock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but Rogue so, wants to know what's the oldest dog you've gotten adopted? Oh, uh, what was Magic? Ma- I was just gonna say Magic, Magic was, 13. was thirteen. Yeah. 13 wow. Yeah, I think. Yeah. yeah, magic got adopted. She, We've had a couple of of right. super sweet seniors. Yeah. Um, uh, Suki, Suki the Pibble was she was twelve. Mm-hmm. Um, We've had a few wow. plus ten. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, over the age of ten, and obviously, you know, we had a couple of maybe smaller dogs who were like ten or eleven. Jerry, who looked like a little fruit bat. Yes, he was Jerry. a little. <laughs> he was a little. And again, um, this beauty of the internet, folks, you can go back into the YouTube channel and go into the they're Happy Tales playlist, and they're all there. All they're all there. there. Check out Jerry. All, all of the yeah. pups that are now in their forever homes and and having their like living their best lives, but you can see the origin. One that we did with that girl Bonnie. There was a the little pug. Who was? Oh, um, a Clover. Clover. Clover, Clover was thirteen. Was another, another yeah, she was a little uh, puggle. If you looked at the pictures of her, yeah. she kind of looked like she was dead. Yeah, um, I mean, oh, skeletal, just, like, just like the gray and muzzle and everything about her looked like. Well, that dog is is going to die last in five legs. minutes. So why would I ever want to adopt that dog? The video shows prancing around. Happy pup who's <laughs> just just to join his life, wanted to be your buddy. I mean, I she... go out only twice a day. <laughs> yeah, I'm good to go otherwise. Find the stairs. Would be a wonderful love other dogs. Addition to someone's home. Yeah, no. I got adopted quickly. She was yeah because I mean she had been sitting on the website for months and months yes, and months because months. senior animal, mm-hmm. you know, and just all the pictures just kind of look like, mm. yeah. you know, and so you're just like, oh well, that that one I don't want to invest my love in this pup that i may not have for very long yeah. and her video shows the exact opposite i mean a spry little walker and she was so cute we were sitting at a park while we were filming and um i said well, i'll just put her right here and i'll just say you know like you should meet our pup pal clover clover is a you know 13 year old super sweet senior and she just takes her paw and just goes like this and puts it right on my leg oh. <laughs> and i just went Oh, you know how to pose, don't you? Okay, well, that uh, works perfectly. Aether um, says, so yes. I wonder if Twitch would be persuaded to toss them on the front page for showing video the dog's videos that are currently adoptable. Just an idea. That would be yeah. an awesome idea. That'd be a great <laughs> idea. Cool. Yeah, we. Have, I, mean, I mean, we have to big thanks to Mima for introducing yeah, us to the yes. world of Twitch. <laughs> to, to, to be honest, I have a couple of friends who are streamers and enjoy Twitch and are on here all the time. But we both were like, I'm sorry, what's this? <laughs> like, I felt very, very just out of it, old person for weirdly. Yeah. Uh, for all the social media stuff that I do, this yeah. was not a medium I'd worked on. Yeah. So I'm, if nothing else, me, Ma, super excited that you introduced me to Twitch because I've met well, some thank very cool people. And yes. this has uh, been, well, obviously everyone on here has been super warm and welcoming, which is Yeah, thank you guys for welcoming us. They are tonight. awesome this sauce, is... aren't they? Yeah, yeah, seriously. Really, truly. I mean, we were we were actually out filming today uh, before you even started the broadcast tonight. We were out filming with uh, Tuck and we're seeing emails of donations coming in. And I was like, she's not even live right now. What is happening? We're working <laughs> it, like, baby. <laughs> yeah, the, your community really shows up for yeah. these animals. And, and that's I mean, they are super. <laughs> my biggest joy is being able to like I love being an actor. Uh, I love being able to reach people and to touch people and to tell stories that are meaningful and that make people feel something important. That's why I became an actor. It's why I became an entertainer and a performer. Do we know you has from similar... something? <laughs> um, you can probably, like, where's Waldo spot me <laughs> in seasons two and three of The Following with Kevin Bacon. Oh, and uh, the, Always comes yeah. back to Kevin Bacon. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. In fact, you're welcome, everybody. You are all now two degrees from Kevin Bacon through me. So congratulations. There you we just go. Have we can almost upgraded. touch him. <laughs> That's you're, right. You're we can so almost funny. touch That's him. Right. And, so and he is one of the nicest men you will ever meet. He's the <laughs> nicest guy. Um, but yeah, like every once in a while, my friends will play Where's Waldo with Samantha on on different things. She, she happened to be <laughs> in the very first episode of all I do is Kimmy Schmidt no um, that was on Netflix. It is on that place. It's still there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so when that came out, a number of like messages you got that weekend. Is that you? Of, like, yes. are you just giving candy at Dylan's candy bar? Like, yeah, yeah, that's right. That yeah, was yeah, yeah, yeah. Day on set somewhere. Get me if you can. Um, but Papa yeah, it's, Bill, I think. Papa Bill donated 
dollars and eleven cents just to irritate me because I can't stand when the numbers are. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Yeah. Someone obviously has to now donate $8.89. Way to go, to, Matt. To get that out of the nice oh, I hate that. I hate that. <laughs> uh, oh. But, yeah, we, um, we, it's, it's really, truly been um, just warms my heart and it touches my soul to be able to do what I love to help the animals that I love and see how effective it is like we would do it anyway when we could on our off time and you know I mean, like truth be told we had been for years right yeah when we started this for the first three years we did this it was just on a hey we're free yeah let's go call a rescue and try and film some stuff hey we're gonna visit um, your sister in sacramento what right. rescues can we reach out <laughs> right. to and that's, hey, that's we're how gonna, we started you know, to really expand and, um, and still to date right now we still are a I would say mom and pop shop kind of thing, but we're a, a two man band yeah. uh, <laughs> that we are doing this all. And even if uh, we are very grateful to the donations of what we're able to do with this right now, but even if this brought us $50, we were still already calling these rescues and we were going to probably still already film these dogs. Like, <laughs> because that's what we can do. Well, as now you can we do it in the ability and the time. <laughs> right? Exactly. If, if I can do it and buy groceries, it, even more there we go it helps us do more faster you know expand more Mm -hmm. save more lives that's really the goal and we have folks that are in almost all the major cities that are like hey when you're ready to do the expansion when you have it in place and we can really go pedal to metal they're ready so it's just the biggest help truly and i know it sounds kind of like oh no the biggest help is just to like follow us and share but truly (laughs) We can make these videos, and I think they're amazing videos that Jessa makes. Um, they are that really showcase these animals. But if eyes don't see them, we still can't help these animals. So the biggest help folks can do is be watching these videos, liking and commenting, and sharing them out to their network. Because, like Justin said, we think that we have a, a pretty solid reach to other people, but our community is slow slowly expanding as we work with more rescues in more cities and things like that you all have groups of people that might be looking for yogi or gretchen or tuck or panda and they're just waiting to see that video you know so like that's a huge huge help just getting eyes on the pup videos we we do have uh coming up in this next month a plan a plan uh, we release. love plans yes <laughs> I know. So here is our, our, our current plan, which we're excited to hopefully release this next month um, for Valentine's Day, as we're calling it. Um, oh, oh, Valentine's. The, uh, <laughs> the idea of being able to not just, in this case, this is amazing. These, this money is going directly to the videos that are being made for this moment. You can follow exactly uh, who you're supporting. We know what's happening in this case. Our goal is for people to be able to be regular, what we call uh, subscribers or sponsors of dogs, in which case for I, we had one thing I was saying, skip a latte, save a life as an idea for being able to be involved. Uh, but maybe skip two lattes. Uh, and for that, as a, as a monthly sponsorship, you would be able to every month follow the story All like I you're going to right we, now, we, kind we, of no hear about as we're making the video, uh, get to see the video when it goes up, and then get to good news when the dog has been adopted. You get to have that kind of warm, fuzzy feeling every month, hopefully, with a new dog that we'll be able to sponsor with the monthly sponsor donations. Uh, so that is a program we're actually currently working on developing, and that is our hope for the future for to be able to continuously be able to do this on a regular basis, and then not even not just here, but create avenues for this to be mm-hmm. done in more areas around the country. On a I, love I love that. I love that. Jade came in saving the day with $8.89. <laughs> Yes, there you go. Excellent, excellent. Math at the ready. I appreciate that. Well done. Oh, you guys, we are up to eight hundred and twenty dollars. Amazing. Holy this crap this on a cracker! So <laughs> and I wrote out your hearts. I even gave Papa Bill one. <laughs> He's my husband, by the way. In case yeah, you yeah. didn't know. This is dare I say, possum. Oh, it's. Awesome. This, is, this is pretty possum, if you will. And uh, Talamar says you're actually probably doing this just for puppy kisses. 
one hundred percent. If I, I could get paid in puppy kisses, to, I would call it a day. To be honest, if, if Sam could find any way to do nothing but hang out with dogs, <laughs> like this is basically her way of just making sure she hangs out with dogs. It's a full time job. It's true. Uh, we haven't gotten there yet, but that's that's really her goal in life. It's just yeah. can I hang out with dogs and that be my life? So uh, oh, she's, you know, and is, Cy wants to know: right Do you have a Patreon? You know what? We don't, but that, that is, is exactly what the uh, the sponsorship plan is to be. Oh, do uh, it through the Patreon? Yeah. Uh, yes. Not not through Patreon, but a direct because because Patreon because um, because we are a nonprofit uh, as a sponsorship, it would be a tax deductible donation for you. Yeah. So that way we can do it directly that way. Oh, because uh, so Patreon, it, would be, it wouldn't be because right. you're going Patreon, through Patreon. You're buying something, yeah. Um, but you can you can get the tax write off if you but, donate directly the same idea is what we're wanting to do of you would be kind of like getting a sneak peek of the video of the dog that you helped sponsor that month or getting a behind the scenes video of when we go to this rescue mm -hmm. or hearing a special story of a dog that maybe we didn't specifically sponsor with you but a great example of like an eva rome yeah that we just had a great example of a dog that was in rescue for eight months and got adopted in you know an hour or some right. crazy number like a week or something like that um, and just tell you about the good good things that are happening. So you can know very specifically where your donations mm -hmm. are going to I love and that. what I love good that. they're doing in the world. Well, and well, the part of the goal too is also, also with kind of like with normal fundraisers, but there are different levels. He talked about the Skip a Latte Save Life. Um, that one is near and dear to my heart because I'm a latte girl. That's how I have to start my mornings. <laughs> so I thought that's what, something that I can understand, Very right? Yep, if yep. I can choose to like tough it out through the day, I know I can put that every month towards saving a life. Now I say don't tough it out. Just find a few extra dollars. Right? <laughs> because he doesn't want to yeah. deal with me if I have to tough it out. Through oh, no. no. That's, it's really the secret. Um, I but, just realized... It's great for you guys and the puppers, but we hit our 750 goal, and now I have to make the cricket cookies. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Papa Bill, did you want me to try the durian coffee tonight? Or do you want to do it tomorrow? I, not tomorrow. Wednesday? Wednesday. Because then I have, could have cake and I have to, I have to. <laughs> you got to put up the pot. Yeah, start the water boiling. It's, um, <laughs> here, let me show you what I'll be drinking. What you did to me. Look what you're doing to me. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I got to go clicking more buttons. All I do is win, 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 no Shadow what. Cat? Come, what are you doing? Seven dollars and thirty-five cents. <laughs> <laughs> Make me crazy. Oh, I have to, I didn't even have to do that. I need to, I can put you guys back and I can go over you here. That, that may there have we go. The price of Shadow Cat's latte today. There you go. Maybe that was, uh, maybe the literally was, that was, that was the latte so price today. The, well, while we're here. We can put the Someone got up. a venti. And, uh, I'm going to need a bigger board. Yeah, you are. <laughs> We're going to need a bigger board. <laughs> we got Jade's heart. Where are we going to put Jade's heart? Put Jade's heart over here. Does it show? Yes. And Sazzle. We'll put Sazzle over here next to Zayla. There you guys. You guys got to get snuggly. And then... Come over here, and I'll show you the durian coffee that I have to drink. Doesn't it look delicious? It comes in little pre-made packs. I mean, the the packaging is nice. <laughs> I put up the pot for you. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> you can have your coffee. Nisa, come on. Work for it. <laughs> back, back. 
Shadow Cat does not drink Starbucks, which there's cream for. You know what? Good you, try. You're with me. Oh, I'm with you, Shadow Cat. I don't drink coffee either. Uh, it's just the, it's it's not been my thing. Justin does like a good refresher, though. Yeah, I'll enjoy a nice refresher. Those frappes are awesome. That little strawberries and cream thing is really good. I shouldn't have too many of them. That goes straight to my hips. But, oh, you're uh, missing the dribbles. Your dinner. <laughs> yeah. Did you see that that nose action? You have a coffee mug in here? Uh, no. You got to get it from downstairs. Oh, we don't have a coffee mug up here, so unfortunately, you know, we'll have to. Not do that today. <laughs> Italian steamers. I didn't know of Italian steamers, but now I'm going to look this up. I'm enjoying your guys are giving me all these ideas. I yeah. love this. <laughs> Talamar, that was great. What What are they talking about? Well, we were, we were, Shadow Cat mentioned that I, I said the $7.35 might have been like in that actual, latte. Oh, <laughs> a latte. <laughs> they, they, said, they said they don't drink coffee, and I don't either. So I understand that. And now I'm getting other ideas of what they get. Uh, that is not coffee at a coffee <laughs> shop. So I'm learning all this great. You're, you're. I'm telling you, your group is super welcoming. I'm learning. I'm learning coffee ideas. And yeah, what? what? Get store. An this, Italian this is steamer is a latte yeah. without coffee. So is that just hot milk? Yeah, it's like flavored. Yeah, maybe flavored, flavored hot milk or something milk. like that. Yeah. Oh. No, I, I I do enjoy a nice hot tea. You do. That's I true. do. Oh, I like I tea do. too. Tea. Me too. For tea. For tea. For tea. For tea. Oh, thank you guys again for giving us this time. I have enjoyed this so oh. much. Us as well. Thank you for having us. It's it's been our pleasure, truly. Yeah. Especially because we get to watch you treat the triples. Yeah. Yeah, chat loves <laughs> treating the triples. Now we have a question. What kind of dogs are those triples? They are caissons. Caisson. We were between uh, like a Pomsky or a Pomerania. We weren't sure, but Caisson neither of us came up with as an answer. There you go. Yeah. Oh, they're right. adorable. Yeah. And it's a Twitch cup. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful pup. Papa Bill found my Twitch cup. Oh, that'll make it oh, taste better. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> that'll help. <laughs> yeah, you, you'll have to tell us how the smell is of the coffee. Yeah. Uh, that that is, I think I'm dreading that I, more. I, I really, I really like. I want to really get good descriptive words about it. Oh like, yeah, I'm. You can't, you can't just say not good. I need to know how you feel inside. <laughs> it's really gonna, it's really gonna make as me long, enjoy it more. Like, as long as how as I, I feel really inside really doesn't come yep. outside, that's <laughs> then right. We're good. Just keep it in. <laughs> keep it in. <laughs> oh, oh, they are fluffy storm clouds. They even have their own thunder <laughs> barks. <laughs> they are they are super cute. Yeah, that's that's some that's some super cute floof going on there. Mm -hmm. The cute when we were looking for um, new when we were looking for a new dog, um, we researched the cuteness. Just was like a bonus, but we researched. Sure. Okay, we do not want this time around a working dog. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> we don't we can't spend all day in the backyard playing fetch so we like yep. research thoroughly okay we want a couch potato who would play fetch maybe sometimes you know mm -hmm. and you know somebody who was good with everybody and mm -hmm. that breed came up and i was like oh they are adorable <laughs> yeah yeah my my dad uh my dad would literally snuggle any animal yeah. truly any animal <laughs> um but i always said that he needed a king charles cavalier because he just needed one that just sits on his lap so he can pet it all day that's <laughs> oh all. there you go there you that's go. it <laughs> uh actually you know what interesting that's uh a little all I know is we, we, what we we no matter that what. research is what we hope to be able to kind of provide in the video for instance of the four dogs we're talking about of filming, one of them is a working dog. Mm -hmm. um, Yogi is, a, I think, a Catahoula leopard dog, yep. which is a working dog breed. And uh, from what we understand, we haven't met Yogi yet, but what we've been told is that Yogi definitely, although can lay down, does need <laughs> stimulus yes. and does need he a good amount of exercise to lay and down. outside time. Right. Yes, um, right. Can, so, can be tricked into napping tricked into at napping. some point with treats. But it'll be Talmar and Imp! 
With $72.66. Set the fuck the fuck up. <laughs> oh, that's oh, particularly oh, terrible one. because it's now 01. I know, I did it one. Salamar, right you there. did that, that on purpose. Really that was really good. I like that math. Thank you for that. Oh, that's 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 when you're pumping the gas and you go just over. And you're like, do I go to the next dollar? Like, that's what that was. Oh, that was Critter has a husky. Oh. I grew up with Huskies, Kitter's Critter. Um, my my. That's how I started with my love of dogs is I, I grew up with a Husky and I used to watch, I don't know if you all are in my same age range, but um, the cartoon Bell and Sebastian many, many years ago. And Bell was a big, floofy, great Pyrenees dog. And so I had in my head, I needed a great Pyrenees. And my dad, was I was like five years old. My dad's like, hold on one second. Any idea? Oh, will you guys ta- <laughs> keep talking? I got to do the okay. Problem. And then she said, my dad was like, do you have any idea, first of all, how big well, Great Pyrenees dogs that. are, but also how expensive a Great nose. Pyrenees is. I'm, and I'm uh, I put together a Great Pyrenees fund with all my little quarters oh, and then powder. ended up in the world of rescue. And uh, along the way, had not had a Great Pyrenees until we adopted my new pup, Mindy, who came to us um, oh, as a Aussie flat-coated retriever. And her DNA test says 50% Great Pyrenees. So I ended up with my Great Pyrenees anyway. <laughs> okay. Okay. No, I'm sorry. This is, oh, 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 this is so bad. Oh, my goodness. And yes, Huskies oh, oh, do oh, have the flu covered. Are we smelling the coffee right now? Oh, is it bad, Mima? Mima? Oh, it's so bad. Oh, no. Oh, good. Oh, I mean, oh, that's no, so bad. Good. Oh, that's so oh. I feel terrible for this. I am stirring. I'm all enjoying this. It's very, very sad for you. Mm-hmm. Oh, all right, if you took feet and marinated them in hot chocolate and put them under the bed mm-hmm. for about 12 months. Oh, oh my God. I'm going to let that feet and chocolate marinade get together. Oh, oh, God, it smells so bad. It's, oh, man. This is not a smell that you've smelled before. This is a whole new smell sensation. This is just, oh, my God, this is so bad. Oh, all right, that's, that's got to cool down. Maybe it needs milk. Baby, do we, do we have any half and half? Oh, no, you're going to add dairy smell into that? Oh, no, 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 maybe that's not a good idea. <laughs> oh, no. The, sugar? Sugar? Just need, sugar? Just maybe sugar? sugar. No. Oh, man. Oh, it's so bad. You're really painting a picture of me, yeah, Mom. I, I like this. I like the word. I'm going to have to open the window, yeah. It is, it is. Milky it is aged cocoa feet. Sense. Yes, because mm. there's, there's like an underlying... Mm. Cocoa, kind of rotted cocoa smell. Oh, oh this is not good. Rotted cocoa smell. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <sighs> you could throw an entire cow in, and it would be an utter terror. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> is it too hot for me to try it? Hold on. Let's see if I. Let's see if I can burn my tongue. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> if we scald our tongue, I don't have to taste it. Yeah, yeah, there you go. See? Problem solved. Oh, oh, wait, I couldn't get close to it. <laughs> I put it up to my mouth. And, and my throat said, nope. I said, nope. <laughs> but just know, Mima, you now have enough opportunities. It sounds like there's a number of packages there. You can try this again so you can get used to it, which I really feel like is something you're going to want to do. Yeah. Definitely. Limburger chocolate fountain. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can can I can I sip? I think it's still too hot. Hold on, let me let me add a little cool water to it. Yeah, that'll help. Okay. You guys that's talk that's amongst that's yourselves. That's good. That's good. <laughs> it's too hot. Anybody else have any questions while we're we're hanging with Mima? I've been seeing some people talk about the dogs they have. Yeah. Like husky and shepherd mix. I'm going to have to open the window because this is just, just, this is bad. <laughs> Did we have a raid come in? <laughs> Scuba Sundry's coming in with that raid. Oh my goodness. Catch me if you can. Thank you so much, hon. 
If you have not checked Thank them you. out, click on this link that'll magically appear in chat. There they are. Awesome sauce. So, how was your stream? Did you have fun? We are here talking with the Pup Pals, who are a charity that makes videos Catch me if for can. shelter dogs to get them adopted faster. And, <laughs> and I'm trying so hard not to breathe in my nose. <laughs> oh, me, I'm so sorry. I'm dying. I'm dying. I have oh, to. I saw somebody has two chihuahuas, too. I have to drink some durian coffee right now. Yeah, because Mimo's uh, viewers here have been so amazing, we've raised enough money to force <laughs> Mimo to drink a cup of durian coffee. <laughs> so it's great timing for one that just came in from the raid. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Mima, uh, again, how does that smell? <laughs> it smells like cheese and cocoa fermented oh, a... under Whoa. a bed for 12 months. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to try and put it up to my mouth again. Hold on. <laughs> Maybe I should move the keyboard back. Just in case. Here we go. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. Not breathing. Oh, my God. No, no. Oh, the cocoa, the cocoa thing continued into the taste. Oh. <laughs> it's like cheese, bad cheese and cocoa. Out a baby. <laughs> oh, and no video is going to get this adopted. Oh, that's so bad. That is so bad. Challenge accepted. I'm gonna look at this. We're gonna Not the poopy ones. Oh my god. I gotta wash it down with some water. Hold on. That is so bad. Why would somebody invent that? Who invented that? I, I was just thinking. I was just thinking. Someone took the time to not only think, hey, this is a good idea, but let me package it and sell it to other sad sacks. That other don't people talking. love it. What a, what a, what a oh, sadistic god. human being to put this together. So liquid doggy vomit, pretty much like, <laughs> it's not good. It's not. <laughs> I have never smelled something like that. Oh, my goodness. Whew. Oh, man. Oh, I love you, puppers. I love you. <laughs> Panda talk. Taking one for the, one for the pack. Gretchen. <laughs> I love you guys. Oh, no. Now I have to cook the cricket cookies tomorrow. <sighs> they're, they're actually not bad. It's um. Oh, let me get the package. Good source of protein. Mm -hmm. Sure. All sure. right. Talk amongst yourselves. Be right back. Yeah. Some good protein. Um, it looks like somebody was mentioning having two um two rescue pups. One was a husky and a German Shepherd. Yeah, yeah. Siberian husky and German Shepherd. Yeah. Um, those are two stellar pups. I imagine. Yeah, we have uh, uh, over Ew. over the oh, years. Oh God, this room stinks now. I <laughs> I'm gonna have to open the window. <laughs> been uh, been blessed oh, to foster a whole number of different types of dogs. Ooh. Yeah. All right. Nightmare has two rescue yeah, pups. Has two rescue right. pups. A rescue it's Aussie so. Shepherd, Papa Bill. Yep. Yeah. Aussies yeah. have my heart. <gasps> Look at the dribbles. Yeah. Chocolate chip cricket cookies. Ooh, that. Oh, the pups are licking it. They're excited. Yeah, they're ready. I bet they'd have some. The shotgun's not good. Oh, yeah, God. Jeez, Jesus. Come here. Yeah, that's a good sit, though. Right there. I bet they'd be good. That's a very good sit. There's some adorable pups. Look at those little bandanas. They're like, Mom, that is our camera. <laughs> like, if you're going to put that camera on, we have to have a treat. Yep. Oh, the we're, smell. We're ready. The smell. <laughs> so oh, Emerald, yeah, a greyhound rescue. We have a, we have a pup in our building that is a greyhound rescue. Mm -hmm. They, they're, they're actually in big need now out of Florida when they um, shut down the greyhound racing. A lot of rescues got overwhelmed. So, that's that is uh, one close to our heart. That and the Beagle Freedom Project. Oh, let me do. I have a a game giveaway to give away. 
<laughs> okay. Um, anybody put in for Val Faris? Okay. All I do is win, 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 no matter There's what. some points. We had another donation come in. Hey! Bye, Michael! With $13.76! <laughs> and then Control Ravenhawk with $100 for the charity oh, shenanigans! Hey. We're still We're off the. Thousand. We're over the thousand, Mima! We went over a thousand! <laughs> Yeah, baby. Oh, crap. Now I got to do it twice. Oh. <laughs> now I got to you know have what? the cookie dipped in the coffee. It's because they have enjoyed you <laughs> drinking this first cup so much. I mean, legit, I'm going to donate $50 to myself. Just to make good. Sure good. To get more, more coffee. This is 100% uh, been worth it for me. I got to sit here and smell it. Oh, my God. It's killing me. <laughs> All right, let me do the let me do the hearts. All right. Okay, Cottrell, we are shortening your name. There we go. And Michael, let's put you on the big boy. Let me do that over here. And over here. We're running out of room. I love it. Okay. All those hearts. Yeah, that's amazing. I know. I mean, this is awesome. It's amazing. It, it really is amazing. I, I would say you're 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 really changing our lives, but it's not just our lives. You're changing our lives. You're changing the uh, the fosters who are watching these amazing dogs' lives, and you will be changing the future forever homes' lives. Uh, oh, don't make us cry! Themselves. Oh so, no! I, 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 yeah, I don't want to be sappy, but like it's it's it really like it really is amazing what this this community is has been able to do here. Uh, it, it, and it will go a long way in so many different worlds. Uh, we always, you know, say that not only does the, the person rescue the dog, but a lot of times the dog rescues the person. And anyone that has a dog probably will say that a lot themselves. Um, so this year, you are helping save five future people's families when they find out that they get to have a dog that rescues them. So that's really, thank you. Oh, of our hearts, thank you. Misa a, and amazing. Tara donated. I didn't even know they had a credit card. $22.89. <laughs> Mommy took our camera. What does it say? Mommy took our camera and half our dinner. <laughs> yes. I, get, I only gave them half their dinner tonight so I could give them treats throughout the night, which is actually just the rest of their dinner. I, they don't even know that. That's that's. that's yeah, it totally doesn't taste like dinner, does it, guys? <laughs> they're special treats. If they're by hand, they're special. Right. Okay, let me make... Oh, and wait until you see how gently Tuck takes his treats. Aww. That boy is super, super sweet. Super sweet. Yeah, for the new folks that joined us, um, so you guys make videos about shelter dogs, and then we're going to see... The videos that we're like raising money for and follow up and find out when they get adopted okay i just okay. need to remind will... everybody in chat that this is only day one we're gonna yeah. be doing this again right. on wednesday and friday which means and, and I... there might be additional <laughs> cups of coffee put that on the board please I and multiple no cookies. no over the next couple days. Oh, can I trade in a cookie for a, for a coffee? Is that a thing? Can I do that? Wait, you want more coffee? No, no, no. no. You want more coffee? <laughs> I'm sure we can do that. We'll, we, we will raise the money well, to buy you I'm going to do something since we hit our goal. Let me have the coffee. Oh, are you going to try it? I'm not going to try it. I'm going to down it. Oh. Take your spoon. Or your, You're going to drink it? Stir it with his fork. 
It's all I had in here is a plastic fork. <laughs> okay. All right, tell them what you think it smells like. Here, let me put the it, It's like sickly sweet. Oh my goodness, wait a second. Sweet. Semwife and Semulin came in with a hundred more dollars. Well, then you need to drink more coffee. Thanks for raising awareness, <laughs> Mima. Oh, you guys. All right, Papa Bill. Here, why don't I it, let you sit down right it, here? If so anybody they can see has, your face. If anybody has ever worked in a, a, a semi-fancy restaurant in the back, win, 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 no you know how, what? like, when wine and food gets old and it gets that sickly sweet smell? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's onions. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much how it smells. And like okay, I said, I wasn't much... planning on doing this. I haven't had dinner, thank God. Or oh. I would yeah, sit down, sit be down. rehabbing it. Make your face. The cat's going to make my face. Let me see. Hello, I'm Mima. Hi, everybody. <laughs> it's me. I'm your Mimo, and I'm doing something really stupid for a good cause. So everybody, pray for me. Why'd you have to add more liquid to it? Ugh. It was enough to begin with. <laughs> so bad. Get out of the way, baby, in case he's got to hit the bathroom. Oh, my God, he's doing it. He's halfway done. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh it's three quarters done. Big gulps. Oh. Oh, oh, I'm getting nauseous just watching you. Oh, why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Oh, I have to smell it. I've got more. I thought I was done. Oh, there's a little. You don't have to do it. I've got to. I said I was going to do it because we hit the goal. Catch with Sam. I'm with you. I'm also gagging. Yeah. Deep breath, deep breath. No, if I breathe, I smell it. It's better if I don't breathe. Oh, your nose, your nose. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. Oh, so Even the dogs are like, I wouldn't try that. I don't know what you're doing. Yeah, they're well, running actually, and hiding. They're like, no, thank you. <laughs> they might not believe me that I'm drinking it. So, turn on, turn on this camera here. <laughs> oh God, I can smell it more. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> turn, turn on, turn on this camera. I'm trying. I forgot how to work. I forgot how to stream. This, Ugh. this was a cup. There's still something in it. <laughs> I can't tilt it all the way, but I'm going to finish oh. it. I'm gagging from the oh, smell. Man. How did it get worse? How? Oh. oh my god. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> that is a big cup. You're right. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh man. Dogs. Well done. Well done. Oh. Wow. Meanwhile, put the, oh. put the camera back. You got you got people that we can't see. Oh. And nobody wants to see me what I'm about to do. I had to run in the other room and gag. <laughs> I think he disturbed the sentiment sediment or something on the bottom. <laughs> oh, that was bad. <sighs> oh man. Oh, all right. Does it Thank does this drink so coffee much. have like medicinal purposes? Like, what is the benefit yeah. of it? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> oh and nightmare, <laughs> nightmare <laughs> Skyly came in with twenty five extra dollars. Hey, we're, we're going to. <clears throat> oh, sorry, uh, we're going to discuss this um, and come up with goals for Wednesday and Thursday, and. Yeah. Yeah, I I know Mima won't be able to chug it, but I might. Oh no! I might cookie and chug. After... How about we have cheesecake and <laughs> yeah, yeah, we we, we got to represent... and a latte. We got to represent yes. you guys. Yes. We're in New York. We need some New York yeah. cheesecake. There you go. We'll go get some black and white cookies. Oh, we'll do perfect. a little spread of, of of the cookies from New York. Pizza and cookies. Okay. Oh my we'll my brother this. for um my birthday got us a Zabar's oh. basket. Oh, oh, with the bagels so and the oh. coffee. <laughs> yeah, that's so good stuff. Good. Yeah. Pastrami. Yeah. Oh, you're going to have to we'll brush have to your go... teeth before you go to bed. 
Well, obviously, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to make some calls ourselves as well. Yeah. We're going to have to start calling around on some more rescues here in our area to find out about other dogs that we can sponsor <laughs> as well. Because th- this group is doing such amazing work. We want to yeah. be able to continue to uh, create with what's happening right now. So we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll chat about this. But I'm, I'm already excited to say let's plan the next five dogs after That's the right. first five we're planning right now. So. And in fact, the folks that are on right now, if you're watching, if you're listening, tuning in, and you have time to reach out to us at the email or the contact on the website and have a rescue you would like us to reach out to, let's see if we can make one of those connections happen. Yeah. We have between now and Wednesday to see if there's another rescue. Um, it, let's even look at Connecticut, Pennsylvania, into Jersey, you know, anything that we can drive to, um, we can make that happen. And we'll try and get another whole, let's, let's knock another whole state off our list, shall we? Yeah. So let's, huh. let's source this and find <laughs> a rescue that one of you all support. And uh, let's save some more lives. All this right. Is amazing, and... Mima. Thank you. Oh, thank you. guys. Thank you, guys. And Rogue said, <laughs> I just posted your Twitch link and charity link to our station's Discord. We'll repeat it again on Wednesday and Friday during our show. Rogue does a podcast. Oh, cool. Thanks, Rogue. Oh. Oh, oh all the love. Look at the love. <laughs> Who did the love? Rogue did the love. <laughs> <laughs> oh, at least actually because he drank it, it's sure. it's at least dissipated a little bit. Whew, that is some <laughs> bad stuff. Let me read the thing. Maybe I can Does it say on here why anyone would do this? <laughs> just was in the no, bottom. It's in Challenge another just language. Money for charity. That's all it says. Yeah. The bottom. It's the reason anyone would do this just raising money for other things. Yeah. It's in, like, a couple other languages that I don't know. Oh, it's, oh awesome. that is just bad, 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 bad. Oh, oh Papa Bill says it hasn't dissipated at all. <laughs> Ten packets Not in the here. the poopy ones! Oh. Ten? See, the, it's, I, I was going to say, it's pretty impressive that they think, you know what, let's sell them 10. Because after the first one, <laughs> they we think they're going to want nine. Right. They're going to want one. A, and that's, it says it's, a... it's actual Ar- Arabic, Arabica coffee uh-huh. and, and real durian. So they, they didn't skimp on this. It's got no, the... they did not skimp on the durian, it sounds like. <sighs> there you go. It's for healthier skin, better digestion, combats depression, maintains bone density. Relieves headaches and migraines, relaxes nerves and muscles, and regulates the thyroid yeah, gland. Yeah. I uh, am not relaxed. Ask, ask, the, ask, the, ask, the, ask, the, ask the right. I was about to say, ask them see if they feel relaxed or without a headache right now. I feel like they're not going to agree with that. Uh, I don't have, have a headache. Some real healthy skin. To make the rest there you of go. You did, so You don't have a headache. headache. <laughs> there you go. Check. Problem solved. Good job. It cures a non headache <sighs> really well. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and Aether <laughs> wants the Valley Cat. So, oh my goodness, you guys spent like so much time with us tonight. I love it. Thank you so much. <laughs> this, is, this has been wonderful. We appreciate it very yes, much. Yes, thank time. you. We, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll chat, but we'll see if we can say hi again sometime here this week yeah. while, while we're And let's show, um, I'll, I'll let you guys go and then I'll show the, uh, the pooches again. Yeah. That we're going to get videos <laughs> for. Yeah. That's right. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, hopefully, in the next time we'll we'll chat here in the near future, I will have the time outside of my job to do this job, uh, and we'll get these vi- these first two videos done as quickly as possible. Actually, you know what? Wednesday, maybe we, we could, could do release, a release specifically on we could do it like on an the early Twitch one on your Twitch and post it so that way <gasps> you could have kind of the release party Wednesday night. Uh, yeah, of baby. The two videos. We that can would let be it come awesome. to you guys first. Yeah. Would you per what okay, what do you guys think? Would you like to see Panda or Tuck first? we we've like gotten really close with Panda in our hearts. Panda? I yeah. think. Okay. All right. <laughs> so so we'll have Panda ready for you to see an exclusive look before it goes live anywhere else on uh for your next stream. Exclusive world premiere. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yep, chat wants Panda. 